Uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on Future Net Zero. Um, let's just start with um, what your group does, Harvey. What, what is e-energy? Who are you? How long have you been going? What areas do you operate in? Yeah, hi. So sure, look, e-energy is um, an integrated energy services group. Um, we listed on the uh, London Stock Exchange in January 20 um, with a view to building a portfolio of services that will enable us to help customers get to net zero uh, without using their own capital. So using a well-trodden uh, business model in the as-a-service um, sector to the energy space uh, and deliver value in a, in a subscription model. What's your particular background? Are you from an energy background yourself? Um, well, I've been in the market now for eight years, but prior to that, um, very much involved in technology businesses. So I'd previously floated a uh, online media business in 2002 um, and did a successful buy and build for a number of years. Um, after that, I moved into investing into a number of um, startups. Um, and it was through an investment I made in an LED lighting manufacturer that actually, um, I guess, made me aware of such a huge opportunity in this energy efficiency, energy renewable space. One of the things obviously that we're at, and I think you've been in the tech sector, and tech's been always ahead of this, is this kind of digitization of, of energy and what it can offer with the whole advent of smart technologies and where we're going with net zero. Bef before we talk about sort of your acquisition of utility team in the future, where do you see this? Why, what makes this space so interesting, this kind of, I don't know whether you'd call it a, a sort of coalescence of technology and energy. Well, I think we, we've got a perfect storm. You know, we're in a situation where um, there is a lot of pressure on society, um, which is stretching from the public sector to the private sector, from residential to the business sector. I mean, everywhere you go right now, and it's the start of um, an ever-increasing story, which is, um, sustainable, responsible carbon footprint analysis, you know, understanding understanding what we're doing and understanding our own energy wastage. So I think the backdrop is one of um, pressure and obligation. The other is um, emerging technologies, which are coming mm. of age, which provides confidence in businesses to um, deploy something they know they should be doing without fear of risk to their own business. So confidence and trust has, um, you know, I guess, been established in a number of technologies now, which is really helping companies feel more at ease. And then you've got innovative, innovative financing structures, um, which enables, I guess, the, the delivery of these um, solutions. So it, it's, it's a perfect storm and, you know, fueled by ever increasing energy prices. Of course, we're right in the middle of all that. Uh, Delvin, for those that don't know Utility Team, in summary, what do you do as a company? So we're an end-to-end -end energy consultant, procurement, trading, and, and over the last two years, net zero business. So we work uh, invariably with larger mid-sized market customers and larger INC customers on all elements of their energy mix, really from procurement and trading at the front end all the way through to compliance, net zero, and metering at the other. Obviously, you've now got together. So talk yeah. us through how this all came about. What attracted you, Harvey, to, to acquiring Utility Team? Well, Delvin and I have known each other for nearly a decade um, from his time uh, at UNESCO. Um, and, you know, UNESCO had done a great job of delivering um, energy performance contracts in the renewable space uh, back in 2014, 2013, when I first met him. And in 2019, when we were looking at um, our strategy pre-flotation, I was looking at the ecosystem of partners. I was looking at you know, the various supply chain um, components that we felt were essential. Um, and, and Delvin and I reconnected and we had an alignment in our views, an alignment in our, I guess, you know, commercial outlook. And it helped obviously that we had you know, a shared background um, and we had a shared vision going forward. And I think that was, that was the starting point. And then you know, one of the, I guess, reasons we, we acquired Beyond First was to establish ourselves with a technology platform. Um, and the, the reason this um, partnership is so successful is you know, we're leveraging some fantastic technology and some fast, fantastic back office functionality with 
an incredibly successful um, commercial organization in utility team. And you know, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a perfect partnership there. Uh, and for you, Delvin, um, you know, obviously personal relationships aside, there are plenty of people that might have been looking to acquire them. What, why is this the right fit for you with eEnergy? I think you have to look at Sumit, where we were going. So we've had tremendous growth already over the last four years. One of our key parts of our strategy was investment, and that's been us investing in new systems and new technologies as we roll out energy efficiency measures for our customers. But if we were really to stay ahead of that sort of net zero curve and offer those range of services to our customers, we needed a real strategic tie-in for us. When we looked around the market, e-energy was a clear fit. You know, the things that they've been doing around the energy of services model, whether that's lighting or energy efficiency or renewable generation, it was a really nice fit for us. Secondly, I think you can't underplay the personal relationship part and the value and culture of what e-energy are doing, what Harvey and his team are doing, very similar to us. It was a really good alignment there. And then just purely on the business strategy, our strategies almost mirror image of each other. So in the end, it was a bit of a no-brainer, really. Yeah. Are you going to continue to be your own brand or will you now become e-energy? Um, well, it's early days. I think both brands, ourselves and beyond, have a strong presence in the market and a strong alignment, which is powerful. However, as the energy brand goes, we'll really look at that over the coming months and, and decide where it's the best fit for the group. But ultimately, our customers know us as utility team at the minute and for the short while, at least that will continue. We're here talking about net zero, obviously. I mean, that's our whole raison d'etre. Why is net zero such an interesting era for you, Harvey? Because as you say, you've, you've worked in the, the media space before, you've been in tech space. Do you see something here now that's, you know, well, we believe it's quite fundamental the way we're going to exist as a society in the future. But do you see something there where you can see the real opportunity uh, as our platform is that there is a pro-business argument to net zero we really believe that is that something you share fundamentally it's the core it's the core belief behind uh, the vision we have internally for the business and also externally for investors you know we're at the beginning of a green revolution you know the the opportunities that exist for companies to do the right thing and also uh, unlock profitable outcomes you know, fundamentally, the heart of everything we do, we believe that going green should be profitable. It should be profitable for investors. It should be profitable for um, hosts and uh, property owners and operators. And so, yeah, absolutely. The, uh, it's, it's no different than any emerging market, except that it's being driven by, you know, a wholesale, you know, if you like, um, pivot in the human race to find a solution to a bigger problem. We've obviously had the, the future net zero standard, the time next, but we've been using that. And I know utility team, you, you've been one of our solution partners. Well, hopefully that relationship will continue. Do you see that the standard being a, a fundamental part of the growth of both, both companies? Yeah, definitely. Like us being a founder partner of future net zero standard was key in our thinking to be able to help, you know, certificate and provide that level of governance and assurance to customers and ultimately for them to get recognition of the work that they were doing to demonstrate to their partners, you know, the rest of the energy group, I think are keen to be involved in that. And we'll certainly be working with the team at beyond to think about how they might promote future net zero standards. And in, in summary for both of you, I mean, what will this offer that's different to the market? So if I'm out there, why, why should I, why should I come to you now? What will you do that will be different to your competitors, Harvey? The difference between um, e-energy's philosophy is it's around addressing energy wastage. You know, our, our business philosophy is all around um, optimization of your buildings and optimization of your portfolios, where you're looking at your, your energy data, where you're taking informed decisions about how you behave so you can improve things without spending capital, and then how you optimize your existing assets and portfolio using innovative as a service business models. So unlike um, what I see as being the, the bulk of the market in energy management, which is around, you know, consulting and advisory service around energy procurement or around energy management solutions, we're about an end to end journey to net zero using as a service, which is a demand side reduction solution. And from your side of it, Delvin, what, what do you hope this union will do for your customers at, at Utility Team as you grow and obviously perhaps uh, assimilate fully with the energy? But for now, for your customers now, what, what will this 
new venture, this new growth offer? I think it gives us our customers access to a whole broader range of technology deployment. It gives access to a whole range of commercial opportunities around whether it's energy as a service, whether it's a capital purchase model. You know, we've, we've found for years that many projects, energy efficiency projects have been stuck because there hasn't been the innovation around how you commercialize those products and get them off the ground. I think our time with the energy really helps us unlock that.